As you can see, we have our truck backed up under our trailer. We have the ball right under your tongue. Make sure that your tongue lock is in the release position. Once that is, just go ahead and crank your trailer down. This trailer is equipped with the manual tongue jack, so you have to crank it. Some have power, which is just a push of a button. Once you feel the weight and the freeness of the handle, go ahead and lock your pin in place. As you can see, it's not going down. It's okay. Sometimes you'd have to just give it a little kick, push it, it locks down. Once it's locked down, go ahead and put your safety pin in. That locks the tongue lock down, so now the trailer can't dislodge from your truck. Release your tongue jack all the way up. You don't want to have it down because, you know, you could get caught up if you're taking a, a driveway entrance or something like that. So I'm going to start off by installing my safety chains. Safety chains go on the left and right side. Just go and clip them onto your trailer hitch, lock it in place. Do the same thing for the other side, lock it in place. You want to make sure your chains are not dragging on the ground. The quickest way to fix that is to release them, give them a couple of twists. It'll actually shorten the distance and then go ahead and connect them back up. Again, you have to have some slack in this so when you do turn, they don't pull too tight. Should your trailer dislodge from the truck, this safety breakaway switch will actually pull out the valve in here, which will actually lock the brakes in the trailer for safety purposes. The proper way to do this is to get your safety chain, get a little hook like this. On this one, this cord's kind of short, so I don't have enough room to come back through. I put a little loop in it. So you just run your cord through your loop and your hitch, your little clevis, put one end on here, clip the other end on the loop, and there you go. This cord should not be lower than your safety chains. You want it just a little bit higher. Next, we'll go ahead and hook up our seven-way plug. Seven-way plug's gonna work your lights, it's gonna work your trailer brake, and it's also gonna be a charge line that charges your battery while you're driving down the road. You'll see a tab here. This little tab is actually gonna be a lock that locks into this cover so it doesn't pull away while you're driving. Just insert, locks the cover, now it won't come out. Next thing we'll do is we wanna check the light system on it to make sure our lights do work. Okay, as you can see, both tail lights lit up, your marker lights up top lit up, that means you're getting power and all your bulbs are working. Your right directional is working, left directional is working, and then we have brake lights. So all your lights are working properly through your seven-way plug. Now we're gonna unhook the trailer from the truck. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my blocks. Put the blocks underneath, it just creates less time for you to have to crank down your manual jack here, just to make it a little bit easier for you. And the order of this is the same thing as we did, we hooked up. You'd like to go ahead and unhook your cable, your chains, and your breakaway switch. Once that's all done, you can pull your pin, release your tongue lock, and then go ahead and start cranking up on the tongue jack. Now once again, as we did when we were hooking up our trailer, sometimes you're gonna have to shake or just get some weight off of your ball and your tongue. So you might have to wiggle the trail a little bit. As you can see this released, that's a normal sound. There's nothing to worry about there. It's just the tongue releasing from the ball. Just get it high enough so you're able to pull out your truck without touching the ball.